Hey guys, so today I am gonna film a video about ColourPop cosmetics. Um, I feel like I'm feeling, I'm in the news. Okay, no, I won't pull my hands like this. Um, no, yeah, it is gonna be a ColourPop review video. I just bought some stuff online. Um, they did not send them to me, so it is, this is not um, sponsored or anything. This I bought with my own money. So, yeah, I did not buy that many stuff because I just kind of wanted to try it this time. But I bought a bunch of lipstick, not lipsticks, but lip paints. I think that's what they are. Ultra Matte Lip Color Pop. Yeah, so these are all matte finish. I'm really into matte colors at the moment. So yeah, and I bought some eyeshadows and some blushes. So if you guys want to know a little more about ColourPop Cosmetics and um, maybe see some of the colors and everything and their consistency and stuff, then just keep watching. Okay, so I think we are going to start off with um, blushes. So I bought two and the packaging is really, really nice. Um, it's just plain white. Plain white. The only thing is that I've only had them for like two days and the ColourPop, cos ColourPop label is already coming off. So that, I mean, not like it matters, but I'm just saying. Because I saw one of them and I was like, oh, well, I just bought this. So, yeah, okay, so the consistency of these, I'm pretty sure every other product, not product, but like um, blush, highlight, and eyeshadows is this same consistency. They are very, very cushiony. Um, they feel like a cushion, pretty much. Like, if you guys use the Lumi cushion, that's exactly, well, not exactly how they feel, but very, very similar. Um, I'm not sure if you can use this with a brush. The first time I opened it, I was in a rush. The first time I used it, I was in a rush. And I just grabbed my brush, dab dabbed it on, and put it on my cheeks. It worked. I, I, didn't, I didn't notice anything, but I don't know. It's Maybe you can use it with the brush, but I'm pretty sure this is meant to use with your fingers. So, yeah, this color is... So so I was gonna say super shock. This color is I cannot even pronounce this, but I will mention it down below. The number is 6A05. And the color looks like this. Let me try to swatch it a little bit. It's a really nice rosy, rosy pink. It's really nice. I think this is the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> I think I was saying that these are really good for more mature, mature skin. They make your face feel and look a lot more dewy. So, um, yeah, that's one of them. And then now I have another one. And the color Swift. Like Taylor Swift. Swift. It's this one, and it is number 5M02. I guess they have a number and a name. But yeah, this one is a little more on the red side, red maroon. This one doesn't feel as cushiony. It's a little harder, but I'll swatch it next to it for you guys. So that's that one. It's really nice, too. I still haven't used it. But yeah, it's still really nice. I'm not sure if they all feel different. I know some colors that are more pigmented are always, um, the consistency is always different. So yeah, now I'm gonna go on with eyeshadows. This one is in the color Central Park. And I only got this for the name. So it's on Central Park, but Central Park, duh. Um, I'm a huge fan of Friends, so yeah. Um, but yeah, Central Perk. This one is, looks like this. It's really, okay, this one doesn't feel as cushiony either. But it's still, the consistency is still really soft. And 
the smooth. I have used one of them. I did not use this one. Let me swatch it for you guys. So that's that one. Um, this one you can really actually I did use this one. I did use this one. I am lying. Um, th and look at my finger. The pigment is really really good. I really like it. Um, it's not. I still have to play with them a little bit. So I will let you guys know. But so far I do like them. Um, this one I have not tried. This one is Partridge. Partridge, I think. 6B01. This one is more of a mermaid. This one's really, really pretty. More of a mermaid color. Um, it's kind of greenish with a little bit of... I don't know. Oh, this one feels nice. This one feels a lot more creamy. Ooh, so pr okay. This one is gorge, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one kind of reminds me of um, Manny's palette. Um, he did show some of his swatches, and it kind of reminds me of that. So, ooh, it's super nice. This one's really nice. I'm really excited to try this. I don't think you can really. Ugh. God, the camera does not do justice to these colors, but it's really, really pretty. I'm excited to try this. This one looks really pretty on, like, I think color people eyes. I don't have colored eyes. These are contacts, as if you didn't know, but. Um, okay, next one. This one is Midnight. Midnight looks like this. And this one kind of reminds me of Max um, Reflect Antique Gold. I was never able to get, I remember I bought a sample one time and um, I think they just didn't, never got it back in stock. This one I have used all over my lid and nothing on top of it. This one's really pretty too. This one's really, really dark with, that's that one. Like I said, Cameron does not do justice, but it's really, really sparkly. The the pigment of these eyeshadows are insane and they're super super cheap um, eyeshadows I believe are five dollars um, blushes are ten I believe and lipsticks or any lip product I believe is six dollars or eight I don't remember but they're super cheap and nothing is really over the ten dollars and if it is it might be like twelve so that's always a plus. Um, as of right now, I'm super, super impressed with Colourpop. So um, that's for the eyeshadows. Now the lipsticks. The lipsticks I am going to try on my lips. I bought a bunch of um, nude nudes. I love my nudes. But yeah, these are the colors. So let's go ahead and try them. I already know I'm probably not going to like some of them. At least not on myself. So, yeah. So, the first one is gonna be Stingray. So, I, before I bought these, I looked up online on their Instagram. And I tried to, you know, look at the colors that people liked and everything. So, that's how I bought these. Maybe I wish I would have bought more pink nudes. Um, these look like pink nudes, but... I tried one the other day for Valentine's Day and I kind of didn't like it on myself. So, yeah. Okay, so Stingray is this one. The consistency looks really, really, really liquidy. Which I guess is good when you're trying to put it on your lips. So, let's try it. Tiny. This one is more a little more pink.
Okay, now this one is Limbo. Limbo is more of a brownish, brown red, I want to say. I have not tried this one, so let's see. <laughs> actually I never thought of it looks so different it looks so different from here to my actual lips um, on my lips it looks really really brown and on the actual lipstick too it looks really reddish like red brown but I really really like it on the lips actually I never thought I would buy a brown lipstick I'm not really a fan of dark lips on myself um, every time my boyfriend sees me with dark lips, he's just kind of like, what are you wearing? But he's a guy, so I don't really think he's used to it. But, um, ooh, and it dries really, really dry, which I love. And it does not come off at all. So that's really a plus. I'm really, really liking this one. nude so we'll see what it looks like I've been seeing that they look really different on the lips than actual container so we'll see how this one looks so this one is Bieber um, it kind of sort of reminds me of truffle by dose of a color except this one's a bit more mauve i feel like i'm not a huge fan at least not on my ooh. i'm not a huge fan at least not of it on myself so yeah but this one is beaver now i'm gonna go in with chai chi chai c-h-i chai or chi this one looks more really nude like nude like skin tone nude kind of thing so i have a feeling this one i'll like but with a lip liner i'm not trying them with lip liners at the moment um just to see the true you know consistency and product review so yeah Okay, yeah, so this one is super, super, super extremely nude. Um, my lips are really, really red underneath, so... Mm, I kind of like... Mm, I, mm, let it dry. Let it dry, let it dry. I like it. I think I like it. With a really, really dark eye. Like, super dark eye. Um... And a lip liner, actually. I think it'll look better with the lip liner. So I'll let you guys know what I think. If I love it or hate it later on. But I think I'll actually kind of love it. So yeah. That one is Chi. Chai. Chi. Chai. This last one is Trap. Trap looks like a really, really pink nude. I feel like I'm going to love it in a way but it looks a little more purple on camera i think but we'll see mm, i don't like it on myself maybe with the lip liner it'll look different it's really really mauvey um yeah i'm not a huge fan of this one at least not on myself but that one is trap. I believe it's trap. Yes, trap. Oh.
Okay, so that completes the video. Um, it wasn't a lot, I know, but I hope you guys find it a little bit helpful. If you guys did, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I think that's about it. Did you notice I had to put it back on because I loved it so much. This one is Limbo, like Limbo. You know, limbo. Yeah, limbo. <laughs> limbo. Okay, well, um, yeah, I have nothing else to say other than thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.